Hey brother, I'm going to show you how to use Elgato with OBS, but first you need to learn how to use OBS. So I'm going to start there. And I've got a whole screen set up just to show you this. Now here's my OBS screen itself. And it's actually half a screen. Watch this. If I roll that down, you know, it's, you know how you look if you had a mirror looking within a mirror how you're just getting the same image over and over again. Well, I'm not going to be able to show you that way how to use OBS. So this is going to be the bottom half of your OBS screen. And that's kind of what you need to focus on. So there's OBS. And over here on your left is a menu called Scenes. Now again, this will be the bottom left of your OBS program. And then beside that is Sources. Now, scenes are, for example, see, I've got this scene here. This is one scene. I'm going to switch another scene. That's another one. That's the same camera, close up. See how you can do this with OBS? And then uh, there's even another camera altogether, which I use, and I have my Bible screen here, which I just don't have on display right now. So what you do is you have to go down here. This will all be blank on your OBS. And remember that these are scenes. You hit plus, for example, and I'm going to now show you what it's like to put a camera view on there. You hit that, and then this will pop up. And you could, for example, entitle that main camera. It's written so small on my screen that I have type spelling mistakes and don't see it. That's the only thing I find with OBS. Sometimes everything is written so small. So then I hit OK. So what it did was added it right here. And everything just went blank because when I hit that, it actually uh, blanked out my screen because there's no camera associated with this yet. So what I'm going to do now is this is the scene. I'm going to show you another view right now, which kind of incorporates everything. Just stuff I'm going to get into later. So now you've got a camera here. So look at this up here, right beside me here. And you see my face, of course. And Elgato Lessons is what I called this whole screen with my face with this button system down here underneath my face and over here the stream deck and all of this. It's all one scene. And if you look carefully, here is everything that's on that one scene. When I have that, notice there's an eye, an eyeball. When the eyeball is clicked, you can't see what I've called display. That's display capture. And here's my microphone. Watch this. If I click the eyeball on that, it's not something you're not going to see. Like up here, you won't see this. It's something you're not going to hear. It just makes it into effect. So watch this. I uh, so then I click that back on and you can hear my voice again. And down below, there's another screen capture, and that's my OBS. That's what you're looking at right now. And over here, this is my Brio camera. That's this. And if I hit the eyeball on that, you can't see that anymore. So you can actually have more than one camera on at one scene. So all these sources are all in the one scene that I called Elgato Lessons. And then if I hit this one, this is going to be me. Boom, there I am, gone. And then click it back on again. So what you do, for example, I'm going to keep this here and I'm going to add another camera angle. So this is how you will start. You click the plus sign to add a camera, a microphone, a, digi a screen capture. See, my Bible is on one. I've got three monitors, three computer screens in front of me. And... I have the Bible on one of them. That's what screen di display capture is. Screen capture, display capture. 
it's it's your actual screen like if you have your Bible on there but I'm gonna add a camera so I hit this plus button here and then right around uh, where is it right here video capture device I click that and then this pops up and you entitle see how I've got everything titled here and I've got everything entitled there well you entitle another one that you're going to add to this section right here and I'll just say JVC cam order it's so small I can't see if I got the right spelling or not and then you hit OK and then look at that this is the camcorder I've just added I'm looking at the wrong camera it now fills up the whole screen so let me I'll hit OK on that you can't see me doing that because I've just actually added another view but now when I go back and show you what I've done see I've actually got that camera and I can resize it now notice I have the new camera highlighted and you're going to see a red line around it and when you click on that red line you, I don't think you can see it what I'm showing you just say that's filling your whole screen notice I'm looking at this camera when I talk but this camera is the one I've just put on so the camera I'm, I'm talking to you with right now looking at you is this one here now this one I hit the eyeball and that one disappears that's a that's two different cameras running at the same time but just for the sake of uh, example I'm going to fill the screen up with the new camera I just put on you don't have to learn about all how to make it large and that right now and so that's how I added a camera but right now if you were to do that and add a camera you then need to add a microphone see you won't hear anything if this is if you've just done this and stopped so let me make this small again and now I have to add like what I have here an audio input device so yours will only have this camera all these things will be missing because I've just shown you how to add something and then you go down here and instead of clicking on video capture device you click on where is it way at the top here you can't see it on the screen because it's just out of range but right on top of audio output capture there it says audio input capture so just click that and then this pops up and again you want to make a title for it so whatever you write here is going to come up in this source so I'll put my microphone there's microphone so I hit and then boom you'll notice that then brings another menu up and here it'll say device so it'll list all the microphones that you have now let me make that larger so you can see what I'm seeing so there's actually a microphone on my webcams plus my main microphone I'm using what's called a micro microphone a blue snowball and the blue snowball is my main one so I'd add that hit OK and now let me shrink this again so I can go back to showing you everything and now it's actually listed here in the audio mixer 
So whenever you add a microphone here by pressing the plus button and going to audio input capture, when you're done choosing what uh, microphone you're going to use, you're probably only going to have one, it'll add it right here. Now notice, I don't know if it sounds funny to you if I'm echoing or not, but uh, since I'm using the same microphone twice, remember the eyeball? Over here, if I if I shut that off, boom. And then I shut this off. You can't hear me. Well, another way to turn the microphone off so you don't hear it is to go over here and turn that red. Now, you'll only have one microphone there. I've got several. I've got a, a capture going on. I've got a camera. Every camera actually has its own audio, so I shut them off. And you just want your main microphone working. Now, my main one is up the top here, so I should shut this one off. So when it turns red, that means it's off. You're not using it. So again, your scenes are over here. You put a camera there. Maybe make it your main view. And then you go to the plus. And you had to do that by hitting a plus sign here to, to make your scene. Your scene is your overall screen. And then the sources, you're going to have to have your camera selected. Plus, you're going to have to have a microphone in there, and you could even hit a Bible and put that in there. Now, notice this. For this screen, this whole screen you're looking at with like one, two, three, four, five different views, I've got my microphone for my sound. I've got one, two, three, four. There's another microphone here. And uh, see, this is the one I, I added down here, so I'll just get rid of that by hitting the mus minus, the plus adds, the minus takes away. And there that's gone. So this is where you'll put your video, you'll put your microphone, and this has got nothing to do with Elgato yet. You just have to know how to work UBS first. Now, I keep hitting this camera here, my little webcam. Then, you can have another scene altogether. Like, for example, if I hit, let me see. I've even got a video countdown for my Bible studies, and I'll hit that before I ever go on my main camera. So you, again, right now, where are we? We're at the Elgato Lessons. As soon as I, for example, hit my countdown, if I hit this here, it's going to take off everything you're seeing right now and put up. And by the way, in that, I can't, if I clicked on this now, this would change and you're not going to see it because it's only going to show what I have when I hit countdown. But watch what happens. So that set off my countdown and, and I have a, uh, I click on there. If you didn't have Elgato, you'd have to actually move your mouse and click on these things. And that's what I used to do before I got Elgato. When I got Elgato, I didn't have to look at the screen anymore. I'm still getting used. I've got 30 buttons here. I mean, look at all these buttons I have here. So every now and then I kind of still have to look down <laughs> and then choose one. But um, there's, for example, my countdown. And if you look really close, let me zoom this up so you can see it. Notice I actually put a little graphic on the button for Elgato that lets me know when I hit that, that's the countdown. And it won't have a button with a picture on it when you first do this, but that's, that's, we'll get into that later. That's Elgato. That's first, you got to learn OBS. So if I go to just showing you OBS only, there we are. What you're, the, everything you're seeing on the screen right now is this button being put into effect. Now, if I was to click any one of these, each one of these items in my scenes has a different list for sources. For example, I did a Mother's Day video. 
And for if you were to click on that, there wouldn't be a microphone. There wouldn't be display display capture. There would just be a video listed. And if I were to click here and notice media source, clicking that would allow me to pick a video. It'll recognize videos and you have to find where it is in your computer, click on it, and then make that one of your sources. And that you'd have to also, if you're going to use sound, you'd have to click this and go to audio output capture. Because if your video has sound, it's not input. Input's right above that. You can't see it on the screen, but input's right above that. But I'm just saying that that'll put in anything, anything listed here. You can have a picture. You can fill your screen up with a picture. And, and since I have the microphone on, I can talk. So back to the OBS only. The scene you would put in, for example, JVC camera angle. And then when I click that, boom, here I am. That's my JVC camera angle. And let me switch back right quickly and show you that uh, my microphone will be there. My camera will be there. It's not listed here yet. But uh, that kind of gives you an idea. So what you need to do first, brother, is you need to learn to add scenes. And then each scene will have an audio input. Plus, instead of it saying display capture, you will have a video capture device for your camera. So learn how to do that. Set up a scene, call it, like do a plus sign here, make your, make the title of it, call it main camera. And then it'll just say main camera instead of OBS. And then you do a plus, find your camera, have it all hooked up to your computer. And when you hit video camera device, It'll bring up a listing. And this here, just like when you hit plus here and you made a title at the first screen that pops up, well, when you hit plus here, it brings up a screen also and you make a title and that'll be a title for what's in here, your camera. So just type in camera. And I'm going to add an actual camera to this scene. See, there's the scene. I'm going to add a camera, which is a source. Your source is going to be audio. Your source is going to be camera. And uh, when I click OK, it brings up this camera. And then you can actually go to the bottom corner. Go to the bottom corner with your mouse. It'll show you. What I'm looking at right now will be above all underneath the OBS that I already showed you. And if you move your mouse down to the bottom right corner, can click on something and there now you see the OBS underneath and uh, so I can move that back up move that down I'm clicking on what you're seeing I'm actually clicking on this and it turns into a symbol of four arrows like up down and sideways and you move it around when you hold your mouse down and then I'm clicking on the bottom corner now to enlarge it and then you can drag it all over and fill the whole screen. And uh, so that's the camera. So that's the first step you're going to do. I hope this has helped. I hope you're able to understand scenes and sources. Scene is, like I said, OBS here. It's got my camera here. It's got my microphone here. All of this comes by hitting the plus button. And it's got a display capture and the display capture see if i had to use display capture to show you the obs on my screen so you could work it but main thing is hit that add a video capture device and add an audio input device for your microphone and that'll start you off and then we can do some other things with bringing a bible in and then teaching you how to do Elgato. So let me know if this works for you and uh, we'll take off from this point.